hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here you guys are watching love joe and today we're gonna be doing a get ready with me and yeah so i want to do like a jody woods inspired makeup look for today so i'm really really excited about that <laughs> Um, I'm gonna put a picture here. If you don't know who Jodie Woods is, the picture's gonna go right here. She's so cute, so adorable, and I love her makeup. Like it just gives like angelic, and that's what that's the vibes I'm going for tonight. So um, I'm gonna be attempting to recreate that look while I talk to you guys and get ready. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So let me go wet my sponges and get everything all set up and we can get straight into it so i am back let's just go ahead and get started with my beauty blender so i'm so happy <laughs> all i need is my hair to stay out of my face and we'll be good so i think i'm gonna maybe clip this one back okay so so let's get started i don't know really what I want to do first but let's get these eyebrows done first I'm gonna get I'm gonna get on Instagram and I'm gonna get let me see Jody Woods okay so here we go we're gonna go for this look right here right I think it's real cute real like angelic like I was telling y'all, it's just real, like, alerty. I love it. So, first thing I noticed, like, off rip are her eyebrows. Um, so, let's get into these eyebrows, okay? Um, y'all know my favorite product to use on my eyebrows is the NYX Brow Glue, right? So, let's go ahead and fluff these babies up. And plus, I just got my eyebrows done. <laughs> sexy <laughs> so I don't know let's work this stuff all the way through yeah it's giving already I love my eyebrows I really do like like really really do and i love like this brow glue even more it just gives you like the nice little you know laminated look so i got that all done let me get a brow brush so i have this one i'm just gonna scrape all that through my brows and then I'm literally just pushing my eyebrows up we want it to be almost wolf like not like neat you know like neat but like wolf like so you see like the difference like once like raised ones more you know straight and off so we're just going to raise those brows we're gonna raise those brows so now that we got like our brows like nice and raised I'm just gonna take the edge and I'm just gonna run it around like the outskirts so you uh, do you see that like and this is before I put like any powder or anything and hold on, I gotta redo this one. Let's see. This is like before any powder or anything. Like, are you kidding me? So I'm gonna take my brow, my Benefit brow pencil, and I'm just gonna go in and like fill in my brows like wherever I need to to make them like a little bit thicker. I usually just do that around about like the arch. And then right here in the front, you know, nothing too, too crazy, but you know, it's there. So like, that's how I like to do it. 
and then I'm just going to take the eyebrow pencil and just comb that product through to you know make it look less dense hold on got a little something right there I'm gonna go like with a skin tone shade concealer I'm gonna go in with the elf um, actually let's go a little bit lighter so we're gonna go a little bit lighter we're gonna go in with the I don't know let's go with this one we're gonna go in with the deep caramel this is by elf their 16 hour long wear concealer and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on the end of this brush and we're just going to just shape our eyebrows out I just shaped it a little bit and I'm gonna go in with the actual like bristle and just add a little bit more for to get it just you know more full coverage but I'd be needing to have like my outline first right so I'm do the same thing on the other side like hello and Just a little bit more. And let's put that back. So, let's just finish shaping these eyebrows up. Oh, I'm fucking up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my concealer brush and then I'm just going to bring that down like off the brow. Clear out any of those harsh lines. Go into my nose a little bit. I know it still looks like a little hard, but we're not done. <laughs> we're just buffing it out. Yeah. I'm just going in with the beauty blender. Take some of that product back. And then going back in with the brush I feel like you know whenever you do your makeup you need like a uh, to even it out between you need to go back and forth between like your brush or your beauty blender in my opinion that's how I do it so and it looks like low-key flawless <laughs> so I'm gonna prime my face with the elf power grip primer I love this primer so much it's so sticky like it keeps my makeup in place so I love it so so much I'm going to be using the Rihanna soft matte pro filter uh, long wear foundation by yeah Fenty Beauty and this is what I went to go get some more of today I usually I don't use that much like foundation I usually let you know the um <laughs> my concealer do most of the work but i'm running low i'm running low yeah i'm going for really just like a a very soft look with my foundation I don't, I don't want my foundation to be like too heavy, but I also do want it to be full coverage. Oh, I just covered up my beauty mark. I gotta put that back. <laughs> gotta put that back. So, <laughs> I look like a clown. A clown. A clown? He's a clown? Why didn't I see it before? So, I'm gonna go in my wet, 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 wet beauty blender. And get to you know evening this out make sure you put it on that neck 
don't forget your neck don't forget your neck for a long time like when i first started doing like my makeup and stuff like that i used to always forget my neck i used to be looking like one of those face app pictures you know you you know the ones you know the ones when the the body is a different shade <laughs> than the rest of the face we got the foundation in there right the next thing we're going to do is we're going to conceal and she has like a really really bright under eye i want to show the picture again she has a really really bright under eye so we're going to go with the lightest one we have which is uh tan neutral it's also by elf so i'm going to take that and put that literally right here not too much just you know a little bit and I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way in shade Honey and I'm gonna just put it right at the end here and then we're gonna take our concealer brush and we're gonna just spread this out. Um, so I just dragged it down like to my nose just to get it like all spread out and then we're going to go in with our beauty blender this one is from elf it is their concealer one and I think it works like really really well like if it's one thing that I'm never getting rid of it's this and I feel like this needs to be like a, at least like a shade lighter. So I'm going to go back in with some more of that uh, concealer. Just a little bit. When I say like a, a little bit, I mean like a teeny tiny bit. And then just back in with the beauty blender. Yeah, this is better. And I usually don't do like bright under eyes. Like it's really just like not my thing. It's not my go-to. But this is what we're doing. Oh, this is what we have so far. And then she has like, I don't know, like really, really light contour. And I forgot to do, I, I think I'm just going to do my eyes last because I forgot to do them before I did the rest of my face. <laughs> but um, she has like really, really light contour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to contour my nose, cream contour, and then uh, for my cheeks and stuff like that. Since it is like really, really airy, I'm going to just do powder contour so you know contour your nose like however you like me personally i like to do it like this and you know drag it into your eyelids it's like a very dense brush and i i feel like this works best uh, when I'm doing my nose contour because I can buff it out and then also it's just like not the lines are not like harsh you see like do you guys see what I'm talking about see like it's not harsh at all and I love that the most right so I got that down and I went like a little bit too far out um, with my contour it's just a little bit too on my bridge so I'm going to go in with that deep caramel shade and I'm just going to place like a little line right well not a line just like a little dot that's <laughs> that's just how it happened to happen and I'm going to take the point of my beauty blender and really just I'm going to take that um light shade again the light one the tan neutral because as you can see she has like a really really like 
highlighted t-zone right so we want it to be like um bright around here too so i'm going to take that bright one and i'm not going to do too much i'm going to take most of the product off and then simba <laughs> So, oh, of course, we're going to go in with our concealer brush. Just to even that out. And we're going to go in with the back of our beauty blender. And take some of that product back. Well, not back, but you know. We're going to smooth it and even it out we want a nice even I don't even want to say moon but <laughs> I don't know what to call it I don't know what to call it so we're just gonna keep going until it's nice and yeah here we go I think this looks good And now our eyebrows look like nice and carved out. This is turning out really good. Yeah, let's go in with our first set. I'm gonna set my face with um, the milk, milk finishing or setting spray. I, don't I really like this setting spray, but how hard it shoots out it makes me feel like I'm being waterboarded okay so the next thing I'm gonna move into is my eyes and then we're gonna do blush bronzer and wrap this up um I am going to be using my morphe palette this is the 35 M just because it has like the most uh, neutral shades out of all of my palette and as you can see she has a very neutral eye so these two and then maybe this one the whole look is just very light and airy so i'm just going to go in with this color right here and i'm just popping that in the you know inner corner part of my eye and then we're gonna go in with this second one it's a little bit darker than the first I'm just gonna put it on the same brush and pop that right there in the middle and then lastly I'm gonna take a bigger brush because I want this part to be like the most airy and I'm gonna go in with that darkest brown and I'm just going to put that right on the outsides and I'm going to drag it in all the way to the corner right along like my crease so it gives it like a nice blended look I'm going to smoke it out some at back here you see can you guys see this is what it's getting very neutral very smoky it's not really giving angelic yet just is giving what they be saying on tiktok dark feminine <laughs> okay so so now we got like the eyes out the way um what I'm going to do is let's start putting some of that blush on. Let's start putting that blush on this. It's my blush brush. And then we're going to take our Juvia's uh, blush. It's their volume four. And the colors look like this. And then it has like a little mirror on the inside, but. This is how it looks. And then I'm going to go in with the hot pink color. This top color. I'm going to get that nice and on my brush. And let's 
and she keeps her blush like really really high on her face so let me give you the picture again for reference right so she keeps the blush like really really high on her face so oh this is so pretty <laughs> I wasn't expecting that wow oh my Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So, yeah, I'm gonna go over to the other side. Do you feel bonita? <laughs> Cause you look bonita. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this so much. So this looks super good, but now we have to tone it out and we have to put some bronzer on. I'm going to go in with my Morphe bronzer and my brush, my bronzer brush. This is in the shade Coco Wall. <laughs> I didn't want to get it wrong, but oops. And... The bigger the brush for your uh, bronzer and your blush, the more airy it's going to look. And that's exactly how I want it to look. So I'm going to go right under uh, where I place that blush. What's this? There we go. So I'm going to go right under where I place that blush and I'm just gonna get like I'm gonna get it as snatched as possible you know just going in with everything right um, uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with some powder I'm gonna go in with some powder and I'm gonna use my other beauty blender just because it's like still dry. It's still dry. So I'm gonna go in with this one and I'm gonna be taking uh, a light uh, powder, a light translucent powder. And I'm basically just going to be going under that bronzer and that blush right hold on need some more on this side oh i think i put too much <laughs> but <laughs> this is how it looks this is what it's giving and then i'm gonna go in with a lighter i mean a darker powder oh how did all this get up to the top like this this is ridiculous let me shake some of that back down okay because that was ridiculous it was like the whole thing was just sitting at the very top so I'm gonna take that uh, I took a little bit I'm just gonna dust some of that off on my hand because I do want it to be just a very light I don't want it to be like to get any darker like I want to keep that bright eye you feel me so that's what it's looking like I'm gonna take a big my big fluffy brush and get this powder off of my face I am gonna take a angled uh, brush and I'm going to take my lightest powder and I'm just going to pack that in underneath my eye just to um, brighten it up a little bit more make sure it's like no creases let's do some highlighter uh, uh, uh. so I'm going to take a highlighter brush to do and I'm going to go in with my uh, Fenty Beauty Kilowatt. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It is Sandcastle. I'm going to pop that on my nose. I'm going to put some right under my eyebrow. 
you know we're keeping things bright around here a little bit on my chin um some on the cupid's bow and then we're gonna just put a little right there uh, this is by uh luna i got this like in a little kit i don't know but I got this like in a little kit. But it's like pinky. It's a pinky tone like highlighter. And I think it'll do really well. Just because the rest of my face is like giving like kind of pink. So I'm just going to pop that on top of every place that I did. Just put some highlighter. And then I am going to put a little highlighter there on my cheeks. Not too much though. Not too much. So I'm gonna go in with the white eyeliner um for like my under eye for like my bottom. I got that white on my under eye, and then we're gonna go in with the brown pencil. And you're going to line your lips. So, let me take some of that aquaphor off. And... Lined under here, and then I'm going to line the top. And then I'm going to go in with my NYX, it's their um, matte liquid lipstick, I just bought it today so it's new, it's in the shade uh, Canes and it's supposed to be like pink, oh it is, it is pink, so this is what it looks like, hold on, focus. Here it is. This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to pop this right in the middle. Oh, this looks so <laughs> cute. Wow, this looks good. Mm. And then I'm just going to put a clear gloss on top. I'm going in with my NYX Clear Butter Gloss. To give it a nice and juicy gloss up lip moment. And yeah, this looks good. This looks good. I'm going to go ahead and take down my hair and then I'm going to close out this video so I will be right back. Hey guys I'm back I got my hair and my you know makeup and stuff done. I just wanted to come back and close out this get ready with me. Thank you guys so much for watching I love you all and I hope you have a great night morning or whenever you're watching this and as always love Joe.